New Transporter. Fabulous. But you know, like any new vehicle, it's really worth familiarising yourself with all its features. And uh, we'll have a walk around in a second, but just to start with, some really good ones with this is the folding wing mirrors. But quite strangely with this one, you've got to actually press the lock button, but keep it down for five seconds for them to actually fold in. And then it, it caught me out because when I opened it, I thought they haven't actually opened. But it's only when you start the ignition that they actually come back to it. And we've got additional locks on the vehicle as well, which we'll have a look at. But to start with, let's have a look at our weekly and daily checks of this vehicle. And you know, when you're talking about the daily checks, it's always good to get a little system going. The system I have is, I love to say it tells, because the vehicle actually tells you when something's wrong. So, T, tyres, E, electrics, L is liquids, the second L is the load, and the final S is the general state of the vehicle. So let's start with the tyres down here. Well, on your daily checks, what you're really looking for there is just the walls of the tyres. You know, the tread isn't going to change overnight, but this could, any splits or bulges in the tyres, you know, that's going to make it unsafe to drive. On the weekly ones though, that's a lot more comprehensive. You know, and get the wheel turned so you can actually check the tyre. Get some safety gloves on, check the inside of them as well. But daily and weekly, as you're approaching it, just have a look. It kind of tells you if there's enough wind in it. And there's a great indicator there as well. <laughs> 51 PSI going in the front. But the tread, we have got tread bars on this, which is great, there's an indicator. Legal standards 1.6, British gas is two. And a good measure is a 20 pence coin. You know, the border on that is exactly 1.6, so a little bit above that, over three quarters of the tire. And if you need to change them, the number here is on the screen. But when you do call it, make sure you opt for the mobile option. You know, let them come to us. We're busy enough, aren't we? No going to them. Get them out to us. Let's get them changed when we need to. And these are fabulous tyres. You know, top of range, continental ones. Uh, good for all seasons, but winter accredited. The E is the electrics. So, simply what we're going to do is stick the ignition on, but don't start the engine because that'll give us a false reading for the oil. So stick it on there, get the lights on, get the hazard warnings on, and then we're gonna go around just making sure all our lights are working. And when you get back here, you can always pump the brakes. Oh, there you go, I can see that in the reflection of the tree. You see the brakes are working. If you've got someone around, get them to check with you, it's always a better one. So that's E, all electrics working. The first L is liquids. The nice thing about this is the catch for the bonnet is directly above that V for VW. They've obviously thought about this, I think. There we are there. And there's gas strut, so there's actually no arm to keep it up. So, fluids. Well, on a daily check, I always think it's worth coming around and just having a look underneath. Because no matter what weather conditions or terrain, you can normally see if there's been a leakage. But the weekly checks, well, wash your fluid. That's this one here, see it? Not that one there, that's your header, okay? This one here, they're a little bit close, make sure you get it in the right one. Oil, so there's our oil cap there, and here's the dipstick here. And when we're checking that oil on a weekly basis, just get it, we know how to do this, we get our cloth, bring it out, clean it, and that's what we're looking for there, between those two markers there. Put it all away in. Couple of seconds, bring it back out and check the level. That's absolutely smashing. This is very brand new engine, so the oil's very clean. When we've used it a while, it'll be easier to see. And do you know what? You're going to be looking at this engine every single week and you're going to get it when it's brand new. Again, familiarise yourself with it, and each time you're checking the fluids, just have a look to see if there's anything that looks 
out of normal or unusual. But there's two other fluids I want to talk about. And they're actually in here, but we've got to open this door to get to them. Now, one is the diesel when we know about that one. But hey, a great tip I've found is on my journey home, if I'm getting towards quarter tank, go and fill up because then you, it's there for the next day and you're always starting on a full tank. A great little system. But this other one might be something new for you. Add blue. So diesel and add blue and never the two should mix. If you put that in the wrong one, that's this vehicle done, finished. But what's interesting is they both have the same effect on the vehicle if you don't fill them up. If you run out of diesel, it ain't moving, is it? <laughs> right? Same with ad blue. You run out of ad blue, the engine won't start. And there's an indicator in there which gives you the countdown of the mileage. So when it gets to say, get it filled up, we fill it up. But there's another point. You've got to use the actual funnel that comes with it. No DIY funnels, you can stick that in and get it in there. The reason being is there's two apertures on this. And you know when you're pouring something out of a vessel, if there's air coming in, it flows great. If there's no air coming in, it'll stop flowing. And that's what happens here. When it gets to a certain level, it stops the airflow so you can't overfill. So you're just putting it in there instead of all over your boots, because <laughs> it's not nice stuff. But not with these gloves, get the other gloves on. Always check, you know, the disposable gloves. I'm not filling it up, so I won't put them on. But when that comes off there as well, Volkswagen have really thought about this. There's a the little holder for it. So the right funnel, fix it to the can, get it in there, get it filled up, and then we're ready to rock and roll. Obviously, we're always looking to get the best source for the fluids. So here's our current status. This is where we can get them from. And the second L was load. But as a driver, we know we're responsible for the loads in and on the vehicle to make sure it's secure. We do have that separate video about loading the vehicle. If you haven't seen it, here's some clips from it here. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you get access to it. If you have, then you already know how to make sure the vehicle is loaded and secure. We also have a clear cab policy. So that means, you know, other people go in here, loads go in the back. So don't be sticking loads in the front and don't be sticking people in the back. <laughs> they don't fit, okay? Clear cab policy. And the S on tells is the general state of the vehicle. Do you know, if there's a, a wing mirror hanging off, it's the same number. Get it called in, get it fixed. You know, if the sign's coming off, you know, you're an ambassador for this company and this vehicle, and we are professional people. So we want the vehicle to look as professional as we are. You know, th this time of year, you're getting a lot of spray up, you know. Maybe you need to wipe the number plates, wipe the lights. Yes, you can't take these through the car wash, but you can get jet wash tokens on your fuel card. So let's keep the vehicle in good condition, eh? Then we come to the cab. Well, the thing is, is we've gone for the upgraded seat in here and it's got four great adjustments. So what we want to do is take full advantage of those adjustments. So we're always driving from the optimum position. So you've got this, which is a quite a common feature. It raises the seat and lowers it down. But on the other side, we've got the back and it's a winder so you can take it to any position forward or back. You've obviously got the lever to take the seat forward and back there, but just down on the seat part of it to the, to the left here, there's another winder for the lumbar. Bit unusual actually, because with a handbrake on, you can hardly get a hold of it. So I do foot brake, handbrake off, and then you can, oh, that's, yeah, you, you can actually feel that. But the additional feature here is the steering wheel. This is great because that there releases it. So not only can you move it up or down that way, but it can actually come towards you or further away as well. So you really can position this and the mirrors so you're in the perfect position driving. And what is the perfect position? Well, a good little tip is look at the knee and the hip. See if the knee 
the knee joint is higher than the hip or level, that's a really good position. Not the th that's thigh, <laughs> okay? Hip joint's here. So knee joint and hip joint, the line, level or the knee higher is a real good position. We have a cradle here fitted for the phone. Great, but remember, get everything set up before you set off because the company policy is no mobile phone use while the vehicle is moving. Media system and all the great features that come with a transport vehicle. But please remember, it is a commercial vehicle and there's different speed limits. You know, B-Roads is 50 mile an hour, dual carriageways is 60, but on the motorway, you can do 70. But safely, eh? And whenever you're getting out of a vehicle, you know, it's not a bad habit to get in just to look to see where you're putting the feet because it's so easy to go and twist your ankle and then you're not doing anything. We say look down as you step down, it stops you from falling down. Nice firm balance there, look down. And with any British gas vehicle, there's three things we've got to do to make sure we park it correctly. Handbrake on, always in gear and always wheels turned towards the curb. And then the security of the vehicle. Some of you might have come out of vehicles where you've got to click it twice to deadlock it. This one is once. But can you remember what I said at the beginning? If you hold it for five seconds, that brings the wing mirrors in. Because we don't want them taken off, do we? So there we are, and then two, th there they go. Lovely. We also have some additional locks like this. So any doors these are on, the way we do it is from there and just push it straight in. Get that right in there, they're fabulous locks. Additional locks up here, you have the padlock and the bicycle locks. So, we're parking safely and we make sure the vehicle is secure. Be safe, eh?